word of God will be coming to us. Hallelujah. Through a son in the Lord. Like uh, Pastor Zach said, you have heard from me talking about, you know, Pastor Afolabi, Pastor Remy, Pastor Remy, you know. It's always good to have someone who is true, who is loyal, who stand in the truth that you stand on. It was part of this ministry at the beginning. That is close to 30, 25 to 27 to 28 years ago. Hallelujah. And um, standing on the truth even when he has relocated to the United States of America. He's been there for several years now, still standing on the truth. Yesterday night, I was talking to somebody in the U.S. that I know, came to know through him, who are talking. And, uh, and I happened to be one of our, uh, our brother also, who share in the vision of C Christian Information Network Ministry. And the pastor said, he said, eh, he said, sir, he said, is it that there are no Christians around? <laughs> eh? He said, in the whole people, can you imagine? He's a pastor, though. he has responsibility. Oh. He said, among all the people that he meets in the U.S., he said, there is only one person and one family that he knows that they are Christian in. They are Christian inside and what? And outside. Is that a pastor Remy and his wife? That what they say in the secret is what you see them doing in the open. That is integrity. Shout hallelujah. And so when you say you have a son and a daughter that are true and that through this family God has opened a lot of doors for me over there. Because only knowing that ah, this is the father in the Lord of Pastor Remy and uh, uh, for Labi praise God because it's highly honored and respected over there not in so many states you know over there so he came for a conference that comes to Nigeria to organize every August which has to do with marriage building home and it was a beautiful meeting I was there ministering also on Friday and um, by the grace of God is here to bless us. Praise God. So, it's just I'm the one preaching this morning. Hallelujah. And many at times we pray that our son should do better than us. Amen. So, there is nothing wrong for a, you know, for a son to do better. So, I believe that if it's the truth, you will hear the truth. Open your heart and the Lord is going to bless you. Um, let me stop for now. Join me as I bring up Pastor Adere Miafolabi from Redeemed Christian Church of God, Dominion of, of Hope of Glory, New Jersey. God bless you. Hallelujah. I think if it is for God, we can do better, better, better. We give God praise. Thank you. Let's have our seat. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Just turn to somebody by your side and by your left and say good morning. And I'm greeting you on behalf of Pastor. No, tell the person, I'm greeting you on behalf of Pastor. That you are looking beautiful. And you are looking godly. In Jesus' name. So give God praise. And I'm really, really honored for the opportunity given to me by my Father and the Lord here. And I'm not ashamed anywhere to declare him to say it. 
openly or secretly that Reverend Francis Adishola is my father and the Lord. Even though I'm a pastor in Redeem, and I'm really, really grateful. He has invested so much in my life. Even when I wanted to marry my wife, not even when I wanted to marry, when I wanted to propose to my wife. <laughs> He's the one that helped me to talk to her first. <laughs> so you can see how far we have been coming. So I really honor you, sir. Thank you so much for being a great impact in my life. And I'm really, really grateful to have you. And um, in absentia, we appreciate our mom. Pastor Tony Adeshola, Pastor Mrs. Tony Adeshola. I know she's not here today, but I think that she's likely watching us. Mom, if you are watching us, we appreciate you. The Lord bless you more and more in Jesus' name. Thank you for keeping our daddy fit, not giving him stress, and you are giving him peace. We appreciate you. And the Lord will continue to give you peace and you have peace over all your children in Jesus' name. So all the people that are being sons and uh, daughters in the house that you have been ministers, the Lord bless you, sons. Thank you for supporting our father. Thank you for great what they are doing in this place. The choir, the Lord bless you. All the ministers, all the workers in this church, on behalf of Reverend Adishol, I don't know maybe he say it, but I wanted to know from the depth of his heart and on his behalf this morning, I want to sincerely appreciate you for the great work that you are doing. Please, church, help me to appreciate all the workers in this place. Uh, all the secret work and the open work, you know, that you are doing. And sometimes when it comes over to you, as he said, some people are doing IVG, some people are praying, you know, and the ministers are praying, they are doing phone prayers. Sometimes they are the youth are here for a meeting and they were praying, I think for three days they are having IVG or something. Uh, the Lord of heaven will reward all of you in the name of Jesus. And will reward all of us in Jesus' name. Even we may be apart, but I know that when we get to heaven, we will all seal ourselves and our celebration shall be full in the name of Jesus. So, once again, you are welcome. And I want to welcome and appreciate my beautiful wife. Help me to appreciate her. For all the time standing by me, do not want me to just be going alone and doing everything alone. I appreciate it. God bless you. It is well with you in Jesus' name. So, everyone, you are welcome. Today is a family service. So, I want you to relax. I want you to relax because you are in God's presence. So, you know, you are in a family already. This is a family of God. When you come to church, you have come to a family. And um, coincidentally, the name of this church is a family, Redemption Church. So, it's a double honor. So, the church itself is a family. Now, this church emphasizes family. Because God is God of family. God is not a lonely God. And that is the mystery that is causing some people confusion. Because they are saying, how can we have three gods? It's because God started family. God is showing us he's not alone. God is saying it's not just a God of lonely people. God is God of family. So when you come to church, even if people have deserted you, people have relegated you, people have molested you, when you come into church, you should have peace. You should know that you have come into a family. Your mind should be at rest. So, you should know when you come to church, you should relax. When there is trouble anywhere, when you come to church, or you come into the family of any member of the church, you should relax. And I'm praying that God, if you have lost that, you know, 
that kind of peace, that kind of uh, relationship, you know, that kind of confidence in the family, God will restore you today. In the name of Jesus. Whatever that have happened that you are no longer at rest in your family. Whatever that has not made you to be at peace in your family. God will restore peace back. In the name of Jesus. Let me just pray shortly before we move into details of the message. Father, we thank you. Lord, we are grateful for your mercy, for your goodness. Thank you for great work you are doing in this place. I can see your hand here. The last time I came here, I can see addition, I can see multiplication, I can see progress. I can see your presence here. Lord, we return all the praise, all the glory, all the honor to you in the name of Jesus. I pray this morning let your spirit dwell within us let your presence be here let there be liberty let there be freedom in the name of jesus let everyone that have deserted that have gone out of family let them return in the name of jesus let every prodigal sons prodigal fathers prodigal mothers let them restore back into family in the name of jesus let everyone that have already become strangers, let them become citizens again in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. And whatever affliction upon us by the power of your word this morning, let those affliction, Lord, be taken away in the name of Jesus. Let there be restoration of perfect earth and healing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Today is family service and the team. The team is restoration. And um, I want to speak on a very, very specific topic that God is putting in my heart. And actually, I was struggling with this particular topic. Because I wanted to, I was preparing to preach from one of our, the outline of our couple's retreat. So, but um, I'm trying to just escape it, but I felt in my heart that God is bringing my attention back to it. And that when God is doing like that, you know, and the way I'm feeling it, I know that this kind of message I want to preach today is a message for now. It's not just a preaching. It's not just a preaching. It's a message. Yes, it's a message for somebody here. And so I want you to be attentive for this few moments we want to spend together. I want you to really, really open your heart. And the Lord will touch you in the name of Jesus. So the topic is still under restoration. But there's something particular God wants us to restore. And this is the topic. Restoring any communication in your relationship. Restoring any communication. Yes, any communication. Communication is a one of the the greatest problems of relationship breakdowns. It's a major problem in conflict. That, that bring conflict in homes, in family, among friends, in ministry, between friends, between mother and daughter, between father and son, between co-workers, between boss and the people that is leading. Communication is a major issue. 
And God himself knew that communication is powerful. When there's communication breakdown, there is relationship breakdown. There is family breakdown. There is community breakdown. There is an organizational breakdown. Anywhere communication breaks down, it will always break down anything in that place. And today, probably there are friends that you know, your friend that you are no longer talking with today. By the time you look at the foundation, it's going to be communication. You look at your husband that you are not talking with today. You look at the wife that you are not talking with today. You know, it's likely that it's communication that is a major, major problem. And some people, it's also communication that's going to restore the relationship. And so, some people are still running away from that eddy communication. So today we want to, I want you to know that there is always a better way to say something. There is always a better way. Look at Proverbs chapter 15 verse 23. Verse 23. A man had joy by the answer of his mouth. Can you see? That joy will come back to you today in the name of Jesus. That joy that has been taken away will be restored back. A man had joy by the answer of his mouth. It's not just by the face. Can you see now? Most of the time we look at the face, we see that the person is what? Is happy. Mm -mm. That is not, that is a physical way of identifying joy. The real way to identify joy is when that person speaks. And the speaking is correspond with what is on his face. There is nowhere you can have joy and you'll be quiet. You cannot fake joy from your mouth. You cannot fake because the joy is within. It's not just happy. Happiness happens because of things that happen. But joy that is coming from within. If there's joy within you, you cannot fake it. Even if you don't want to laugh, you will laugh. If you don't want to laugh, you will laugh. Joy will not make you to frown your face. But you can be not, you can like joy and your face will still be shining. You know, you can dress up happiness. You can dress up happiness. Because now maybe you are coming at, from home. You have not eaten from, for the past three days. And you get to a place. And somebody gave birth. That something happened. You will not show them in that place that you are not eating. You will, they will see in your face that you are what you are happy with them. But inside of you, what is happening? Something is happening. You are not joyful. There may even be sickness inside of your body. But you come to a place that they are doing wedding. Just like our father and mommy, they did yesterday. Congratulations, ma. And congratulations, pastor. You come to that place, you will, you will not say, tell them that there's sickness. You will rejoice with them. You will show happiness. But there's something in between inside you. And that's why that thing, if there's joy within you, people will see it. They will see by the way you talk. So, our talking, our communication can always be better to bring joy. 
And that Proverbs 15, 23 also said, and a word spoken. The, a word spoken. A word, a word spoken. In, I'm reading that, continue that uh, Proverbs 15, 23. A word spoken in due season. How good is it? A word that is spoken in due season. That means there is a time, there is a season for every word. And that's what we want to learn to be able to communicate better. That every season that you communicate, it will bring joy. It will bring joy. Joy into your relationship. Joy into your home. Joy into your marriage. In the name of Jesus. Then Proverbs 25 verse 11 a word fitly spoken. Proverbs chapter 25 verse 11. Yes. Proverbs 25 verse 11. A word that is fitly spoken. A word fitly spoken. is like apples of gold in pictures of silver. Can you see? A word that is fitly spoken. It's like apples. Not the one you bought from Bodiga at Bodiga Market. Not the one at OJ Market. Not the one at Mokola Market. But this one is of gold. He's of gold. In the pictures of silver. You see, that is very, very costly. And that is how the word that you want to speak. That is how you should let it be gold. That is how we should let it be packaged. That means you need to package the word. You know, just like you want to present a gift. You find a wrapper that is very, very you know, looking good, beautiful. So many of us don't know how to package our words. To be a golden words. So you just say it's boa. And you don't think that you just say boa. Do you know? Between gold and stone, which one do you throw boa? Which one? So you don't oko so oro yen ni o o nkan to ba ma foko fo oro polopo okay okay so i don't know maybe since let me just speak your very little it is not little i know so <laughs> now oko so oro yen o ko nkan to ma fo opolopo wa ti fi oro wa bi oko ati fi fo orisi risi nkan sugbon ni aro igbowo nkan ti oro wa ti fo olorun atu se loruko jesus you know, you don't just throw gold. How I many of us, at least women here, especially our women, that you have gold? Do you put it on the table in the kitchen? Mom, do you put it? Do you just put it when people are coming to step on it on the in the floor on the floor? Eh? Where do you keep it? You keep it in the closet, inside that wardrobe or closet. You still keep it inside them. Um, Women, what do you keep those golden things? Eh? Jewelry balls. Thank you, ma. Is this something that anybody can just see anyhow? I'm praying that from today, our words will be word that is worth like gold. We'll not be like Ogulu Shaw. That you can just throw to break anything. And anywhere you have thrown your word to break things today. God will give you a repenting heart. That you will be able to humble yourself and say I am sorry. I am sorry. I just throw that word. And don't forget every word that we speak 
The Bible says we are going to give account. We are going to give account. So today, your word from today, your word will no longer break things. Your word will be worthy. Will be costly word. Will be word that is that that by things. Yes, word that brought things together. That is how our word will be. In the name of Jesus. And in one more scripture I will read. Proverbs 25 verse 15. By long forbearing. For that same Proverbs just verse 15 now. By long forbearing. Is a prince persuaded. And a soft tongue. Break the bone. A soft tongue. Our wives. Wives here. Mothers here. A soft tongue. Break bones. So your husband may be so hardened. And because of that, you also add in your word. You want to break it. What, that is not the way to break bones in the kingdom. It is by what? Let's read it again to see how to break bones in the kingdom with our words. By soft tongue. Proverbs 25 15. By soft tongue. Is that? No, no. Read the second, the B part of it. I want to. Ah, uh, no. Tokuna, Tokuna, you know, Kuna, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, you know, when you have already grand things, soft, soft, the one that's soft, yes. You know, be a Lubotonti Lokuna. That is a kind of tongue that can break bones. That's the mystery of the kingdom. And I'm praying that all of us today, God will touch our tongue. Every hardness that is in that tongue, God will remove them. Some of us, we think that is a tongue that is pepperish. Uh -huh. We think that that is a kind of tongue that can break bones. It is those ones that is soft. It is not when you turn your house to a, 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 a noisy house. Ahoro. Totiso egbe yawo wa di ahoro Olorun a muru awon awon yen a tun won se loruko Jesu In the name of Jesus And God will give us soft tongue In the name of Jesus What is the focus of this better communication what, when you speak what are the things that we want to achieve Yes what are the things that we want to achieve so and I want to use the word love because we want it to achieve love. Yeah, because love is what binds families together. So anytime you are speaking, you are communicating to your wife, to your husband, to your children, to your father, to those people you are leading, to your pastors, to your bosses. This, you want the world to bring out love. And what is the number one of that love? With the letter hell. You want it to bring laughter. Laughter. Can somebody laugh here? Let me see. 
Some people, even when I give you to laugh free, you refuse to laugh. Why? What is the problem? Laugh, 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 laugh like a child of God. You are in your family. Uh -uh. Some people cannot laugh in their family. Some husband, when they come into the house like this, everybody, you know, they are like rats. They don't run away. You should bring water that will bring laughter. You want to speak to your wife. The water is going to make her, you know, laugh. Bring fun. Why is you always frowning your faces? Eh? Let your word bring laughter. You, when you want to speak, it's the word that will bring laughter. That will make you to, 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 to laugh. Make the person to laugh. Make your husband to laugh. Make your wife to laugh. That's the kind of word that we want to be speaking. The word that shows love. That shows love. And the second one, which is letter ho, is the word that brings openness. Yes, openness. That there is nothing between you and in my heart. I'm not, I'm not speaking white a word out. Me, me why there is black inside of me. Yes. The word that brings openness. And when you talk about openness, it brings trust. Yes, it brings trust. You want your word to bring trust to open. So when you are telling your wife that. I am coming from Mokola. It's not that they find you in UI. The word that brings openness. You are not that you are saying that you see Ojo Riari. Because as we are communicating also to our customers, some of us are businesswoman, businessman. Some people have lost some customers. Because when you tell them, that this Congo of rice, you will find 10 cups of a small kamik. You are telling your customer. You are communicating with her. By the time she gets home, she finds 8 cups. That one is no openness. That customer is no longer coming to your store. Say so that person is a liar. He's no longer coming. So you tell the person, please borrow me this money. 10,000 naira. I quickly need it. And by next week, first month, because next week is first month, it's next another month, I will collect my salary. Before on the fifth, I will give it to you back. But now, on the fifth, is on the 20 now. Next month. It's not next year. Last, and it's another year now. Next time, that person you are saying, ah, I need something. My children now, they don't have school fees to pay. Please, anybody can borrow me. I will give the person back in two months. <laughs> two months. Say, no, he's a liar, alone. It's two months. He's telling you ten, two years. So our word should be word that will bring openness, openness. You should be open when you are talking to your f f husband, you are talking to your wife, you are talking to your dad. Let it bring openness. Let it bring openness. That. If they look at the word here, when they go to Mokola, they will find the same word. When they get to Lagos, they will find the same word. When the person look at anything about you, it will be open. Nothing you are hiding. Nothing you are hiding. Then, another thing to speak the word of love. Another thing to speak the word of love. Another focus of our better communication from that word love. 
What did I call L? God bless you. What did I call O? Then what is the next, next letter now? V. The word that bring value. That you value the person. You are the person. You are not just telling the person and say, "Ah, oh, ori, oh, ori, abi ori, I want to walk like it." Mm. You are not just looking at the person. You are not looking at your husband and say, "But what you watch any rather than that boy?" You are you devalue the person. Okay, oh, Kishore, oh, don't be burning a jet. Oh, what if for what if he budget? What if he want it like? No. It's not that kind of word. You want to bring the word as value. Give value to that person. Yes, give value to that person. Make the person important. Yes, yeah, the word that make him important. The word that make her important. Some of us, we have spoken words against our wives. Spoken words against our wife. We let her do man with Timothy fear ye. Let her do man with Timothy fear ye. So many people, their homes, their marriages, their relationship has become spoiled today. Because they don't value their relationship. They don't value the people they are speaking to. They don't value the person. They do not. You need to speak in a valuable way. The way that will make the person important. Value your husband. Value your wife. Value your brothers and your sisters. Value your children. Some of us here, you have oro oro enu elonja lo lo je ja tomo renja titi doni. Is the word you have spoken? Say, oh my, come here, come here, come here, come here. Abolo shima ma come here, lolo lolo ofu. Wada come here, aboko nuni eni ah. Goku anwa oro buruku yi. Allah nubo do kaku le nuwa. It must no longer be words from our mouth in the name of Jesus. No, all those words. Anybody you have spoken those kind of words to before. When I finish this message, if the person is in this church, you go to the person and apologize. If the person is not here and you have the phone number of the person, you will call the person. I come to just apologize. I remember I called you already this that time. I am sorry. If the person doesn't have phone, doesn't pick, test the person. If the person is your husband or your wife, prostrate on it and beg and say, I'm sorry. The way well, I've used my word to shatter you. I've used the word to shatter you. Use the word to shatter you. I had this question in my church. I think I should also ask this one, in, even though it was a, for the couple, but um, I think it's also useful for all of us. I told them to all the people that are married here. If you are writing, if you have something you are using to write, bring it out. Yeah, yeah. Now bring it out to write something. I want you to write. Yes. If those of you that you are married, and those of you that you have engaged, and I think it's all of us now. You at least you have a father and a mother. So let me bring it on the platform of home like that. I think if you are not married, you have a father or you have a mother. Or, and you have somebody you want to marry. Now, this is what you will write. The value, the way I'm writing, this is a question, and I want you to write it. 
If you are married, write the value of my. If you are a man, write the value of my wife. Then, if you are a, a wife, write the value of my husband. Yes. The, don't put the answer. Just put the value. Write it like that. The value of my wife. The value of my husband. Those of us that you are mother and father. Right. The value of my father and my and the value of my mother. Put write it like that. The value of my fourth mother and the value of my father. So have you written it? If you are still waiting, tell Pastor, wait for me. If you have not written it. So all of us we have written it. Now answer it. Put the value there. Put the value. Put the value that you think that this is the value of my wife. Put it there. Put the value there. Use the you can use naira, you can use million, you can use trillion, you can use anything. You can use dollar, you can use anything to write. This is the value. If it is gold, you can say the value is gold. You can use the value is silver. And if it is uh, okuta, you can use the value is okuta. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you are putting the value of your mother, of your father, father, of your wife, especially wife and husband. Put the value. Because I'm talking about our words must be what that bring value. Now, the answer is going to be for yourself. But if the answer is not this answer I want to show you in the word of God, you need to cry to God that God that means something has happened with my relationship with this person that I value her or him so low like this so that means you are value him or her so low but put the don't deceive yourself because this is what is going to help you if you don't put the answer the way that it actually comes from your heart yeah because it's going to help you now look at the answer. Make sure you have written your own answer, Lou. Before we say the um, the result. Proverbs chapter thirty-one, verse ten. Proverbs thirty-one, verse ten. I want somebody to read from the congregation. Thank you, ma. Can can we do we have another mic so that we can get it in the recording? Or maybe you quickly come to the front and. Um, I want to I know some of us have written. We're going to read also in Yoruba. Okay, since our brother is here in Yoruba. Yeah, give her the mic. Thank you, Who can find a righteous woman? For our price is far uh, above rubies. Thank you. Our price. Okay, read it in Yoruba. Okay. Can, can you get mic, man, so that we can also give her the mic? Can you get the mic? So, if there's any value you put that we can count in naira, we can count in dollars, we can count in gold, we can count in silver, your answer is not, it's not, it's not, it's not uh, correct. Your answer is below standard. Eh? You, you say what? Oh, so your <laughs> thank you. I don't know your answer me. Your answer is below. Your wife should be what? It's not something that they can buy in the market. Your husband is not something to want to go on a lorry. What is the answer we see here? Far, it's not just above. Eh? It's what? Far above. Immeasurable. So that is how you should follow your wife. But to many of us, if somebody give you twenty thousand dollars and give me your wife, you are ready to let go. Kilo <laughs> 
Then he come back, baby. Tell me, boy, so you want your boy be a daughter, a million naira. One be fumi lokwe. Some my fi a daughter, a million. My fi shaye, my fi shaye. If at all that you want, you call your phone go and do. What it not to do? Go and do to buy it. Cause a million, ah, fifty million, ah. I want my mula. I to go and buy it. I want my mula. You know. Ti o kwe ba ti di nkan to le ko wole lori ba n to ba soro o le buyikun ko ni valu mo loju e you will speak anyhow you will talk anyhow so our word to bring love our word for in order to bring love it must be you must value the person it must bring value value and what kind of value? Above rubies. Rubies just like tango for that your um and Yoruba EU. You know, it, it, there was a time in Yoruba land that what we use for I don't know if our father is still here. What we use for money is what? Mm -mm. You know where your cowrie. So that was what they were using for money that time. So it is also a currency. But this woman said it is small, far. It's not just small, far above. There are two places they use that word in the Bible. The first place is to tell us where we are sitting. That we are sitting far and above principalities and powers. Where they cannot reach. So this one also, my husband, my wife, he is far and above any amount that you can give. Anything. You know, when you value the person more far and above anything, it will be difficult for that person to offend you. You know, it's because you don't value the person very well. That's why the person can easily offend you. And the person you will say, oh, no, you're, okay, get out. And you can go out. For three days, you are not eating in your house. It's because you don't value the person. You don't value all the effort. That's why it's easy for you to say, okay, you can live separate and we live separate. No, because you don't value and you stay like that for many years. It's because you don't value. What you value, you will pursue. Pursue until you get it. Even if it gets from your, uh, further from your hand, you will not let go. You will keep pursuing it. You know that is exactly what God did for us. That's what he did for us. Because God value us. Even one man fell from the garden. One man fell from the garden. God, because he value us, he's looking for a well of redemption to pursue us. To pursue us until he find you. Until he find me. Can somebody say, I'm valuable in the hand of God. You see how much God value you. When you are still a drunkard and God is not, is not fed up. God was not fed up. God was not tired. Even when some of us say we are Christian. You see committed adultery. You committed fornication. Yet God was pursuing you. God because God value you. God said I cannot let this one go. We remember that prodigal son. In Luke chapter 15. Even when he collected everything. He's the one that left. You know, he's the one that left. He was the one that left. God did not leave him. You don't know. Let me just show you one. Then I come back to this. To finish up. Luke chapter 15. Just to see how much. I'm, I'm, I'm showing you how much God value you. How much God valued our relationship? How much God valued you? Some of us, you know, here, yeah, you know, you know. Even when you are a worker, when you are a worker, at that same time, you are still a fornicator. And pastor did not know. Nobody knew. You struggle with it. The pastor keep preaching. Until one day, and God touched you, and you repented. And it's still possible somebody is in that situation today. Even though you are in the church. 
But you are still committing sin secretly. You felt that God are fed up. God did not fed up. And today is the day that God will have a counter with you. Today is the day you will come back to redeem the value. To redeem the value. When the prodigal son in this Luke chapter 15. They had Luke chapter 15. Luke chapter 15. From verse 11. But because of time, let me just read that first, maybe first um, 11 and 12 and 13 and see. Or let me just quickly read everything. Because we are talking about restoration. Restoration. To see how much God value you. And God is waiting for you to come back. First 11 says, and the Bible says, and he said, a certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of good that fall to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey to a far country. You see, he's the one that left. And there wasted his substance with riotous living. He did not value everything. He did not value the relationship he had with God. The relationship he had with his father. He devalued it. Gathered them together. You, you didn't understand. Now the Bible says he gathered it together. That means there is a boss. No, there is a boss that he gathered, he put inside. I don't know what to... No, I put a hand or bag. He, you know, like you want to travel. You gather it together. Can you see what is the price that we are talking about? Far and above. Something that somebody mentioned, something in that place, something that is immeasurable. Something you cannot measure. But this man, he measured his own. He gathered it together and said, This is the value. And went to a far country and wasted it. Because it devalued something that nobody knows the value. Something that you have to get every time you need it. You can say, My father, I need this. My father, I need this. My father, I need this. He gathered his own and put it in a value. And in that place, he has devalued it from far and above rubies, far and above naira. He has quantified it now unto a naira and he wasted it so he's the one that left let's see what the father did verse 17 and when he came to himself he said how many higher servants of my fathers have bread enough to spare and I perish with hunger I will arise and go to my father and we said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy higher servants. And he arose and came to his father. Now note this. Note this verse 20. And when he was yet a great way off, A great way off. His father saw him. From a great way off. That means the father was just by the door. By the time he has gone. The father was just waiting. Looking. The father was expecting him. The father was expecting. That when will you come back? Because I value you. Because you are valuable. I am praying that as God value you, you will also value your relationship. That person that have gone away from your life, 
because of your communication. There's no communication barrier. That your husband and you are now dividing your space on the bed. No, no, your husband that you are dividing space on the bed. Your wife that you are dividing rooms in the house. Baba and Dasu. You already separated yourself. You will have more compassion. See what now? This is the process of restoration. See the process of restoration. The re process. Is that, I, I don't, the, thank you. He's what? He had compassion. I think the first thing is the father saw him. Some of us, we are not, even though your wife is in the house, it's like he's not there. The father is in the house. Like, Where's the father? Is he in the house? Ah, no, come on, Baba, why don't you Ah, me, Mama. Ben, what don't you want to do? They are together, but they are not. They are not together. You are not seeing the person. Some people, their wife will be sick, sick to death like this. They don't see her. They don't see her. Their husband is already in trouble. They don't see him. Their children are in trouble. They don't see. They don't see. So the first thing is that God should open your heart to see that person again. To see your eyes must be open afresh. Please allow your eyes to open again. See your husband again. See your wife again. See the way you started. This is not the way you started. Can you see? Can you see? Look. See that your friend again. See that your father again. See the way you started. See him from far. You know, you saw the father saw out far away. The father saw the way he started. Father saw how this boy was in the house. How he was useful. He didn't see the present thing he was doing. He didn't see the present way he's behaving. He saw far. He saw far. I want you to God to open your eyes today. To see far. Remember those days. See those good days again. See those good things again. See the thing he bought for you. See the children he bear for you. Don't see the present situation. Now you may be sick. Now you may not have money. But before he had money. See. See. And when you see, have compassion. Yes, have compassion. Have compassion. Please help me preach to somebody beside you. Have compassion. Have compassion. For that your friend. For that your friend. Or if it is your wife. Or if it is your husband. Or if it is your boss. Or if it is even your servant. Have compassion. Have compassion. And to be like our father. See who initiated the, the restoration. See. And run. Who ran? Who ran? Who should be offended? Who should be offended? But then who ran? So who started the restoration? I know you are waiting for the person that offend to come and say sorry. No. You are a child of God. Be like your father. If you are to be like our father, who is to start the process of reconciliation? It is you. You that they offend. It doesn't mean that you that you offend somebody, you should not do it. You know, if you know that you are the one that offends, you should do it. But if you are here, you are the one they offend. I just don't share me now. Oh no, share me. Me call him more Jebi. Oh no, Jebi. You know, Baba, Tama, Talo Jebi. Talo Jebi. Talo Sare Latilo Barawa. Oh, the Majewa Lo Jebi. 
O le je wa lo se daada. Sugba wo ni ko ko sta ko bere lati lo mu bi aye pada. Bo se ma wa bi ijaye se ma pari iwo ni ko koko gbe se. You are the one to start it. He initiate it. He initiate it. He initiate it. He initiate the restoration. Bring back your family. Father, bring back your family. Son, your father have offended you. One day I was preaching many years ago. I was pre- uh, when I was serving. I think that should be over 25 years ago now. And we have a crusade like this. And I preached. In that local government. And this lady was crying. After we finished, the lady was crying. Was crying. And I, after the meeting, I called her and was, why are you crying? Why are you crying? Um, it's not deliverance that you just fell down. You know, she, she did just fell down on that and was crying, was crying. So I was actually thinking that maybe she need deliverance or something. But when I spoke with her, she mentioned something I may said. I said that she find it, she find it difficult. How can she go back to her father? Her father have deserted her 15 years ago when she wanted to enter secondary school and send her out with her mother. Get another woman. Nobody to send her to school. Nobody to do this for her. Oh, not from primary school. But now she's a big person. Now how can she forgive that kind of man that bring another woman that, that did not remember her? I said, this is the word of God. God has already spoken to you and cancel her and follow her up. Maybe somebody is here also like that today. Somebody that offended you. Be like your father. The Bible said we should be like our father that is in heaven. How many of us are ready to do that today? To be the one either from today. Maybe somebody has offended you in the past. And you are ready to initiate the reconciliation. Or you are making a decision today. That from today. If there is any conflict. Communication conflict. Trouble in our relationship. I will be the instrument. Of peace. How many people are here today? That are ready to do that. If you are ready to join me to do that. Let's rise up. Either somebody have done it for you before, or you are saying today, I want to start the pro, I want to be the instrument of reconciliation. If anybody will offend me, I will initiate the restoration. I will not be waiting for, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Me on the day my meeting, let me lori. Baba, you know, my family meeting. Kaka la bolori abina. Kaka la bele, no. No, Baba, sare. And when we saw when the father ran, the father began to bring the best. He bring the best, the best food, the best clothes, had the best vehicle. The father was bringing it. Say, no, my wife, I've, I've, you are suffered. My son, you are suffered. Come and enjoy the best. 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 Can we just begin to pray? And say, Lord, help me, Lord, to have compassion like you. Help me, Lord, to have compassion like you. To love like you. Help me, Father. Help me, Father. Help me, Father. Help me, Father. Help me, Lord, to have love like you. Help me, Lord. Give me heart to forgive. Give me heart to forgive. In the name of Jesus. Give me heart to forgive. In the name of Jesus. Give me heart to forgive. My father help me. Let me be like you. Oh Lord. And I want you to pray. Any area that has spoken a word. A word that is like stones. A word that breaking things. Lord forgive me. I have spoken the word to my wife. I have spoken the word to my husband. I have spoken it to my pastor. I have spoken it to my friends. I have spoken it to my children. Oh, I have spoken it to my ministers. Lord, forgive me. 
I've spoken it to my co-workers. I've spoken it to my customers. Lord, forgive me. Forgive me. In the name of Jesus. Lord, forgive me today. In the name of Jesus. Empower my mouth with right word. With right word. In the name of Jesus. Empower my mouth with right word from today. In the name of Jesus. Lord, every relationship relationships that have, that have been broken down around me. Lord, let there be restoration. Any area that have been hurt. Any area that have been hurt. Lord, heal me this morning. Heal me this afternoon. Oh, Lord, heal me. Everyone I have hurt. Everyone I have hurt. In my walls. In any area. Lord, heal them for me. Heal them, Lord, for me. In the name of Jesus. And the other that has scattered my family. Lord, that is my, is my fault. Lord, restore us back. Restore us back. In the name of Jesus. Restore us back. I want to just pray. As God is restoring. God is breaking all the walls of partition. God is bringing all the people that are far away. Oh, Makata, Lebra, Suto, Lebra. You are here this morning. You know that so your friend. You know your sons. They are far away. They are no longer coming to you. Has God shed forth your mighty hand. Bring them, Lord. Bring them, Lord. Bring them. Bring them, Lord. Bring them, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Bring them by your power. Oh, Lord, bring them. Bring them, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Bring them, Lord. And you yourself come to Jesus back. You have you come to Jesus. Come back to God. Some of us here, you need to restore your relationship. Come to God. You are the one that have caused you have you have caught distance between you and God. You have caught distance. You have caused distance. You have led the people of God. You led the people of God. You are now in the company of unbelievers. You are the one that is bringing shame to our relationship. You are bringing shame to this family. Oh, you don't understand what I'm saying. In Genesis chapter 34. Genesis 34. Bible said, Dinah. Dinah. She went out. She went out to see the people of the land. So, so he left his family. She left his fami her family. She left her family. She went out. To the people of the land and they defied her. She went out full and but they defied her. She went out full but they defied her and she came back defied. You are the one bringing defilement to the church. You are the one bringing defilement to the church. You will leave the church. You will still go to boyfriend's house and see sleeping with you. And you see, coming to the church, you are bringing defilement into this place. You are not married. You are still sleeping with a man. You are sleeping with a girl. And you are bringing defilement into this place. And they are telling you, you are saying, no, no, that's where I want to do my own. No. This is a family. No, this is a family. Don't bring defilement into the family. Let's open our eyes and let me show you something. Let me show you something. In the book of Joshua. Because at this point that we have. It's very important. That you should know this is the family of God. And when you sin. When you sin. All of us have sin. All of us have sin. And God did not want us. To be a sinner like that. Look at. Sorry chapter 7 verse 1. Let's quickly read it. Joshua 7 verse 1. But the children of Israel committed a trespass. I want you to know. The children of Israel committed a trespass in the accosting. In the accosting for Achan the son of Kami the son of Sabdi the son of Sarah of the tribe of Judah took of the accosting 
in this place who sin? Who did the Bible say committed sin? Because you are a person in this family. When you commit sin, all of us have become sinner. You made this family to be sinner. And that's why you need to come out to say, Lord, I'm sorry. I did this secretly. God, forgive me. So let's close our eyes again as we pray. Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. Is there anybody here today? I'm going to have two people, two set of people I want to call out. The first is this. You know, one way or the other, you are a sinner. And, and because you are a sinner, your sin is making the sure to be a sinner. And you need your relationship with God to come back. Oh Lord, yes, you your relationship with God, you know that it's no longer it's no longer smooth. And you want that relationship to be smooth. Anybody here this morning, if you are in the congregation, come out. That's the first people. They show that you are in this family. You are that means that you are you want you want the peace of this family. You know you are a sinner and you want reconciliation. You want restoration. You want God to restore you. The best is still in the hand of God. I know this is my father's church and I'm not, but in case there's anybody, let me just see if you are here and anybody that is still here like that. Let me see your hands and you can come out. We give God praise for that. Now if you know, now if you know, there's a relationship that needs to be restored. There's a relationship that you need God help to bring back. You can also now come out. You need, there's a relationship that you know that I'm preaching. God said that relationship needs to be restored. And you want us to pray with you. You want us to agree with you. Please, can you come out where you are and let us pray together? That would be very good. So, if there's no relationship like that, there's nobody that you know that, that you have already been apart and you seek that today, that will be total restoration. If there's anybody that you know that you have that kind of relationship, and you are seeking God to help you. Please come here now so I, we can pray for you. God bless you, my sister. There's any other person that is coming. You could be with your husband and with your wife. You could be with your father or your children. I will say, Lord, this relationship needs to be restored. God, this relationship needs to be restored. Compassion needs to come back. Compassion need to come back. And the Lord will bless you. In the name of Jesus. So I'm going to bring my father and the Lord to come here to come and pray. And pray for all of us together. Yes, please come. There's a man that's sitting down there. Please come out. This opportunity you have. There's a grace and anointing of God in this place. That can break any yoke. Daddy, you can come, sir. Alright, even though I've mentioned it in between, that is, I didn't mention he. He is empathy from the word love. L O V E. V is valuable. He is empathy. Sir? Oh, yes. Praise the Lord. Yeah. He has mentioned the E in the story of how the father of the prodigal son, you know, empathized and ran towards him i just want us to have it in full hallelujah god has spoken to us today amen if you are there whether you are outside or you are where you are there must be something everybody here we talk about restoration 
either between you and your husband there are things you have learned the way you speak against your wife the way you speak to your husband your relationship with your parents even with your friends your business partner many people have lost good business because they don't know how to speak they don't know how to relate something has been missing except you want to deceive yourself is somebody hearing me I said somebody hearing me so if you know that there is something you want God to help you with and you are making up your mind to go and correct the wrongs restitution is also part of it you understand what I'm saying now that you know that God has spoken to you when I leave this place I will go and change what I have said wrongly to somebody that has brought a separation it's your wife but you know the way you treat us you have no choice some people treat their wife as if they are just uh, you know actual know just like a napkin what kind of marriage is that because because or along the so low soft when you're lati joko ni guaja jukelu obiri oni jani no le is it it is better to sit on the house top than with a boisterous woman in the house move kagbadura close your eyes if you know that you still want to join these people march out i just give you one minute march out now you want God to break some yoke in your life? You are making up your mind. Quickly join right now. And don't deceive yourself. Give you one more minute. God bless you. God bless you. Put the devil to shame once and for all. That you are starting a new thing in your family. You are starting something that is going to change. Your world will change. Your relationship will change. You are repenting from your heart. In Jesus name Lord I pray for this your children they have been touched by your word and they are taking a bold step to correct the wrongs to practice love in the actual way that you have narrated it you know to us today Lord I pray what area where they need restoration right from their heart oh god restore them in the name of jesus christ let the blood of jesus cleanse them there are some of them that are angry angry lord god of mine they are in wrath because of what somebody has done what somebody has done father i pray oh god almighty lord the blood of jesus christ <clears throat> god the bible said the wrath of a man does not work the righteousness of god let the blood of jesus cleanse such art in the name of jesus christ let there be cleansing in the name of jesus christ let there be restoration back to god and let there be restoration back to that person lord that they felt they don't want to have anything against to do with in the name of jesus christ for everybody in the house with this message today oh god restoration where it is necessary where it is needed we shall go out and correct the wrongs in the name of jesus christ there will be reconciliation there will be restitution in the name of jesus christ and as a church as a family church among ourselves whether there is a brother and another brother there is a misunderstanding lord your peace that passes all understanding let it reign in our heart oh god let there be total restoration let every bitterness be gone let every toxic relationship love father god be resolved in the name of jesus I pronounce healing into every heart in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. As many Lord that are saying, Jesus, come into my heart. Lord Jesus, come into their lives today. That today's family service, Lord, let it bring complete restoration back to God in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, because you have answered. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
Amen. The Lord bless you. Let's put our hands together to celebrate the Lord. Amen. Please let's sit down. We'll soon uh, close this service. And um, I will still come back with closing prayers. I want to thank God for his servant who has come to bless us. Are you blessed this morning? He has spoken from his heart. He has spoken as a pastor. He has spoken as somebody who is experienced in the area of family reconciliation. And that's why, please, treasure what you have heard. At least L-O-V-E. L stands for what? So begin to What are you saying? you Kisha Mondi Kali, a man by a wear and bark where any or a tomb. I'm wearing that day. I've got up with the one. You know, I want you. I will not want my joke. What's about to Daniel or to Daniel? Ah, ah, Jack, who my quickie, she quit to batten to batten to ban tea, say, come and cook on tea, say any. A hallelujah. A money, a hallelujah. The same thing is what's the O? Be open. My lama call it compama, we mo con compama me tiff and sofunya woman. I will long call it for parents, eh? Oh, sofunya wear, oh, tisha, election, eh? Repent. I be to the Laura let on raccoon call it pama for quay mama, you know? All those things are wrong. These are the things that is bringing problems in families. Be open. What you want to do? Do it. Let everybody, you are doing it together. Hallelujah. To ba rale, to ba fe kole, let it be Mr. Kishe Mr. and Mrs. Anybody can be Mrs. Koje Mr. Olushe Yi, Abiodun, and Mrs. Ah, uh, uh, I mean, Ola, 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 can you know? <laughs> eh? Ola, thank you. And Mrs. Ola Minde, Tabide Bora at Pelu Oruk. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Any other person to claim to Do you understand now? document to what at Yahweh low and be washora she. Uri me. Oh, this is we get out of my house because my is in my house. It is our our house, and you'll be in demand for that. But you should trust me, more trust her. Ma she kini o, no ba ramoto. We ma worry. We ya eh, oru ko mo kofira family loni rara magba. Oru ko image ji nuko wa nu document niye. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oru ko image ji. So, go ni sakwe my car. Go sing a donja my car. It is our car. Are you getting it now? That is openness. Oh, ni secret agenda. V is what? Put value on your husband. Treat your husband as a king. Treat your wife as a queen. Praise the Lord. Value. Che npe ni marriage ana ati bi seminar ti alola ti gba wa pe customize your marriage amen eh uh-huh. customize your marriage my wife eh my own my love my favor my portion my king again hallelujah so it is mine so, my cousin, quit there. Anybody can be there. I call anybody there. Oh, how are you there? Well, there. You know? Amen. Especially in Tobaj, you know. How are you there? I be to have a collector. Dear friend, Connie. He be there now. So, dear is common. But to have a dear, let me My dear. My, my dear. Praise God. Oh, I quit there. I ain't got to be common. Wow, look at me. Amen. Wow, look at me, totun, totun deep. 
tutunjile. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Then, the last E is what? Empathy. Kenyo ni kuma kanu compassion no ni kuwa empathize. Kwe babanyo so yu kwe omoto ti lo dodo ti lo wiz gubo kini. Eh, on lo lo sare pa die. Po ba shi nkuro mbilo ni. Eh, ni to lo ni kinyo yi walo ma koko lo kiyo. Oro to jekwe ki yi walo ma koko wa yi ni yi lo. On lo tu mo si kwe yi wasu yi ni. Ki kan shi kwe yi wa wasted. Take the first step. Is that alright? Take what? The first step. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. I don't want to preach another sermon. We have had amen. And um, we have blessed. And that blessing shall be permanent in Jesus' name. Before we begin to close, Mrs. Ogu, where are you? Then after that, I'll come for us to uh, pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Before we go, we want to appreciate our pastor Remy Afolabi and our mommy all the way from the United States of America. We appreciate you. That was a very, very powerful message. I think it was in 2015 or 2014 you came around. You preached on forbidding blessing. I can remember. You came with your children. It was also very powerful. Our daddy has spoken so much about you and we thank God for your life. He gave me a lot of testimonies about you and I was really pre I mean impressed by the comment that somebody made about you that if you are looking for a true Christian in words and in deeds that it is Pastor Remia Folabi. I thank God for your life. I pray that the grace of God that kept you standing all these years we continue to keep you strong in Jesus' name. Even at such a time when it is difficult to find good Christians, true Christians, you are still standing strong. The Lord will make you uh, a source of inspiration to others in Jesus' name. He will continue to keep you in the battlefront. God bless you, sir. Please kindly step to the uh, podium, I mean, to the pulpit. We have something for you. Yes, the two of you. So I'm going to start with this. Our camera people. <laughs> On behalf of our daddy in the Lord and the ministry, the Christian Information Network Ministry, we present this uh, honors, this award, this plaque to Pastor Adiremi and Omowumi Afolabi. We appreciate you both for remaining loyal, committed to the vision and for your continual support to the ministry and kingdom advancement from the Christian Information Network Ministry. God bless you, sir. God bless you, ma'am. I remember one of your children is named Ruby. Reviver. I know that. Ar, ar, ar. So that time, they were very young with my children. They, they, they sat together. They were talking about them for a long time. Good to have you once again. Thank you. Thank you, my father and the Lord. Thank you, the church. We are, we are really, really surprised. I don't know. I don't know what to say, but I think this is the first uh, award that we... Uh, maybe another award. When we are going, they give us something. So, at least since we have left, this is the first award we are getting from Nigeria. <laughs> we really appreciate you, and thank God that you came from here. Daddy, we appreciate you, sir, all the ministers, all the church. God bless you, ma. God bless you, ma. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Let me help you to pack that here. Yeah. All right, ma'am. All right, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. As we are closing this service, um, I want to thank everybody for coming.
For those who are coming for the first time, please, we have a special gift for you. Don't be in a hurry. Amen. And um, many of us will be attended to. Well, I want to thank Pastor Remy. You know, when you honor a father, father also must honor his son. Amen. He honors me. When I leave this place, when I go to U.S., I have a. In fact, I went to me what you tell me you can go away. My room is always there. Praise God. You know, for somebody to serve God, and you don't know what property is doing. I mean, say in America, for you to reserve a place for servant of God that you can rent out, but you keep it there. Full sitting room, rooms, and everything that anywhere servants of God come around they have a place to lodge in your house it is the kingdom commitment, the vision of the kingdom and of course like I said he has put so much honor upon me that people honor me anywhere I go over there so some people think that when I go there uh, with me is a wonderful, wonderful wife amen, wonderful daughter amen before she goes to work, everything I want to do, yes, it's not, I'm not, you say, come along, you bug along, praise God. Now, every food, eh, any kind of food that I say I want, our kitchen is ever open, and I have my own, uh, we have our own fridge there to put our things and things like that. Uh, you know, when you put on, when you say, the Bible said, if I am your father, where is my honor? If you don't honor your father in the Lord and you say that, uh, uh, good afternoon, sir. You must show honor. You must show honor in so many ways. He has honored me and he has made so many people I don't know in America to honor me. Because anybody that knows that this person is his father in the Lord, this is who is father in the Lord, you know. That is how it's supposed to be. So, when somebody comes from America, what do you want to give to them? But the plug is to celebrate your continuous support over this ministry. Our media department, one more, we call it the young communicate. So many things that what you don't have, you will send it down. It could be microphones, it could be this, it could be that. Supporting the media department. Uh, from time to time and the whole church hallelujah the Lord will continue to honor you the Lord will bless you he will lift you up to greater heights in the name of Jesus Christ you will never run dry spiritually you will not run dry physically you will not run dry in the name of Jesus your biological children shall honor you there will not be a pain in your life. There will be sources of joy to you. Your spiritual children will honor you. In the name of Jesus. As you honor me, they will honor you. People that will call you father. And they will treat you as father indeed. People that will call you mommy. And they will treat you as mother indeed. You will not labor for nothing. You will not labor for loss. Your members will not be your enemy. They will not be your persecutor. They will continue to submit to you and submit to your leadership. In the midst of others, the Lord God Almighty will cause you to stand up, both of you, in the name of Jesus. Different character. So shall it be. I bless you in the name of God the Father, the name of God the Son, the name of God the Holy Spirit. You will never know better yesterday. Your every day shall be best. Go from glory to glory. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Amen.